Welcome back, dear viewers. You're still watching uh, Nile Cruise on Nile TV from a very special place here in Cairo on a very special occasion. We're celebrating uh, Christmas, dear viewers, and we're here at the cathedra uh, cathedral in Abbasia and celebrating with all the Copts in Egypt. As we always know that uh, Islam and uh, Christianity, uh, there is a great unity between both Copts and Muslims here in Egypt. So we're here today to celebrate this very special occasion, wishing them all, uh, not only in Egypt, all around the world a very happy Merry Christmas. The arrival of Jesus, Jesus Christ and the Holy Family is an important event that took place in Egypt. The story starts with a group of wise men declaring Jesus as the next King of the Jews. Um, the Holy Family left Bethlehem to Egypt after an angel warned Joseph to leave with Jesus and Virgin Mary. They started their journey through northern Sinai until reaching uh, Pharma. The uh, places they stayed in have been transformed to churches and monasteries. And to know more about this, dear viewers and the Holy Family, uh, which took almost the same route on their journey back to Palestine after spending over three years in Egypt, we are honored to have with us today in today's episode of Nile Cruise Father uh, Kirolos Haney to tell us more about uh, the Holy Family journey to Egypt. A very good day, sir. And it's a pleasure to have you with us. And I hope I uh, um, pronounced your name right. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for this uh, initiative to make this program about uh, the Holy Family and uh, the visit of the Holy Family to Egypt. Thank you, Father Kirolos, for having us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, uh, of course, uh, 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 um, Jesus and um, um, his mother, Virgin Mary, were fleeing uh, the, per, uh, the pursuit of King Herod, who, who wanted to, uh, uh, who threatened to, to kill him, uh, to kill that baby uh, back then. When, when did Jesus actually enter Egypt, Father uh, Kirillus? And, and, and Pharma, is it Laadish or is it Poor Said? Okay, uh, about the date which uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, came to Egypt with the Holy Family, uh, actually we celebrate in the 1st of June of each year, uh, which ref uh, reflects the Coptic uh, month of Pashans, 24th of Pashans. This year we celebrate the entrance of the Holy Family or entrance of Jesus Christ to Egypt. Uh, uh, this is uh, for the visit of the city, entering the city of Tal Basta. It is mentioned uh, in history that he entered the city of Tal Basta in this day of 1st of June. Mm. Uh, about the age of Jesus Christ when he came to Egypt, uh, for sure, according to the gospel, he will be uh, two years or less. Mm. Because, uh, you know, when Herod the king uh, knew that the three wise men or three magi uh, didn't come back to him with the news, where is the child? Uh, he was uh, furious and he ordered to kill all babies from two years and below which reflects this is the time uh, he expected this is the age of Jesus Christ. Mm. So he came most probably two years or less to Egypt, uh, and he spent most probably more than uh, three years, three years and uh, five or 11 months uh, in Egypt. Okay, F uh, Pharma is it's, uh, Arish Pharma, or, or Bursaid? Pharma is uh, near Bursaid. Okay. Now it is a village called Baluza in, in, in Egypt. Uh, it is nearer to Bursaid than to Arish. Um, sir, why was Egypt uh, the country that our, the land that was chosen for the Holy Family as a refugee and how is Egypt featured in the Bible? Okay, uh, let's uh, first answer uh, the first question, why uh, Egypt was chosen uh, by the Holy uh, Family as a refugee? Uh, first uh, of all because of the geographical uh, proximity to uh, the Holy Land. Because you know Egypt is having borders with Palestine. So uh, the nearest place to Egypt uh, for, for them to refugee is Egypt. Uh, also, I, I believe there is a, um, a special bliss of Egypt uh, by the visit of the Holy Family. It means uh, Jesus Christ and the Holy Family wanted to bless Egypt by their coming uh, as a refugee. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see this that in every place they came uh, inside Egypt, the idols of Egypt is broken. We see this in many places, especially in Tal Basta, in the Aziz city. You will see still now this uh, monument is still there. You see broken uh, 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 idols at the time 
when they enter this city. And it happened that when this happens, persecution happens to them from the people. So they go to another place. Again, the same story, repeat again, the idols fell down. And that's why they moved on through Egypt, traveling from place to another because of this. And this is actually a prophecy in the book of Isaiah that uh, uh, the Lord is coming on a swift uh, cloud coming to Egypt and the idols of Egypt will trample, trample at his presence. Mm. So this is a prophecy. So, so it was a means of spreading Christianity at the time in Egypt or spreading the, the, the religion at the time in Egypt? I believe it is a preparation for this that uh, the, the pagan culture was very strong in Egypt. You know, Egypt at that time was pagan and uh, uh, every region has its own god and uh, Egyptians were worshipping idols at this time. Mm -hmm. So there should, uh, the, there should be a preparation for the minds of the Egyptian for the worship of one god, yes. not, not many gods as they used to. Yes. Okay, in the Bible, sir, what does, um, as we mentioned? Yes, how is Egypt featured, yes, in the Bible? Actually, Egypt has a very special place in the Bible. There are many verses, hundreds of times Egypt uh, is mentioned in the Bible. We can see this in the very beginning in the uh, book of Genesis. The first mention of Egypt uh, there about Mesraim, the father of the Egyptians. Mesraim was the grandson of Noah. Mm. You know the story of Noah and the yes. ark. Noah, uh, when uh, he came out of the ark, his grandson, his name was Misraim, and from this came the name Masr, mm. after Masraim, the grandson of Noah. Means Egypt is as old as history. Mm. I mean, the, from the very beginning of creation, I means a new creation yes. after Noah, yes. Egypt mm. is there. Mm. So it's the, it's, we can say Egypt is the oldest country in the world, mm. uh, uh, without doubt. Mm. Uh, also, uh, there is a mention in Egypt in the Bible also as a place of refugee, mm. not only at the time of the Holy Family, but also at the time of uh, uh, Abraham and Jacob. Mm. When famine happens, they usually come to Egypt yes. for refugee. Mm. And we know also the story of Joseph in of Egypt. Course. He was a uh, prime minister yes. uh, in Egypt and he saved the whole world at that time. Mm. And this reflects the wisdom of the Pharaoh at that time that he accepted that a foreign prime minister to rule in Egypt because he sees that this man is, has mm. the spirit of God, the wisdom of God inside him. Mm. This is how the pharaohs are wise, mm. that they accept this. Mm. Um, also we see uh, in the Bible the famous miracle of the split of the Red Sea. Yes, with Prophet Moses. With Prophet course. Moses. This is yes. very, uh, very prominent uh, mm. uh, event that happened and it didn't mm. happen anywhere be uh, after this, mm. that the sea is split mm. for the uh, Israelites at that time to depart, flee, flee from, from yeah. Egypt at that yeah. time. Um, also, we see uh, prophecies in the Bible, uh, in the book of Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 19 specifically, many uh, um, prophecies about uh, Egypt. We see this, for example, that there will be an altar for the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. This is in Isaiah uh, 19. Uh, and also it is blessed in the same chapter, blessed is my people Egypt. Mubarak Shabimus. Yes. Mm. So, um, and actually this prophecy is fulfilled also by the coming of the Holy Family to Egypt yeah. when they went to the Muharraq Monastery. Mm. Uh, this is geographically, uh, the Muharraq Monastery Asyut? is... Uh, yes, near Asyut, it mm. is in the middle of Egypt geographically. Mm. So this prophecy is uh, fulfilled when the Holy Family came and they spent in this place about six months and few days. And mm. this uh, is the oldest church in, in, in Egypt. And mm. it is the only altar consecrated by Jesus Christ himself. Wow. Okay, so where are the most uh, important places Virgin Mary visited during um, the journey in Egypt? Okay, as we said, the most important places visited by uh, Virgin Mary was Muharraq Monastery. Uh, now, now it is Muharraq Monastery. Uh, of course, uh, their presence was before the monastery. Uh, they spent more than six months in this uh, place and uh, it was the, the stone where Jesus Christ used to sleep on become the altar of this uh, uh, place. Until now this church is there and this stone is there. This is one of the most prominent places there. Uh, we have also um, in uh, Gabal al uh, we see uh, 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 this is a place where there is a story that there was a stone coming uh, to fall on the Holy Family, but Jesus Christ stopped it by his hand. 
and his palm is imprinted on this stone till now. Uh, um, and where is this mountain? Uh, Gabal al-Tir, this is in Upper Egypt. Okay. Uh, uh, and also there is another place famous, uh, Wadi Natrun. Wadi Natrun, uh, they passed by this uh, place, uh, and this uh, place now is a place of, uh, of worship and place of monasteries. And you, you, you will notice that in all the stations where the Holy Family resided, it now it become a place of worship of God, place of monasteries and churches. Um, also in Cairo, of course, there are a lot of places in Cairo, like uh, in, uh, in Maadi, in Abu Sirga, in, in Old Cairo, in Babylon, in, uh, in Zuela, in many mm. places in Cairo, in Matariya also. Mm. All these places are visited uh, mm. by the Holy Family. Mm. Sir, uh, Old Cairo or Masr Adima is one of the places that comprises many, many, many churches, if not most of the churches in Egypt. Yes. Uh, uh, this is true? Of course, there are a lot of churches, a lot of uh, very famous churches, like the Mu'allaqa Church in, exactly. in, uh, in Old uh, Cairo. We have Abu Sirga, where there is a cave where the Holy Family resided uh, there. Uh, and, but they, again, they didn't stay a lot in Cairo because of persecution, because the governor came to know that mm. uh, this family is responsible for the falling of the idols. Yes. So again, they moved to uh, Upper mm. East. Yeah, um, amazing um, uh, um, trip, of course, uh, that should serve, uh, I guess, tourism here in Egypt. We, w yes. we want, you know, uh, religious tourism, certainly taking the path of this great sacred, uh, uh, the trip of the sacred family would be very nice to see. You know, it's interesting, Father Kirelos, when you were mentioning, you know, the, stat the status of Egypt in the Bible, of course, also in the, uh, in the Holy Quran, there is a mention of, uh, of Egypt several times, Rana, including perhaps the most famous, Adkhulu Misra, inshallah, I mean, which is, you know, enter, peaceful, enter Egypt uh, uh, peacefully by God's will. So, uh, so Egypt is, you know, is blessed in, uh, in Islam, in Christianity, and, um, uh, um, and everywhere. Uh, now, Father Kirelos, um, I, I want uh, you, you tell us about the, the Maadi journey uh, specifically, or the significance of the stay in Maadi uh, of the Holy Family, the, that very important um, part of the, the Sacred Family strip. Um, uh, Maadi, actually, this is a place where they started their journey to Upper Egypt. Mm. Um, they call it actually Maadi. Maadi, you know, means crossroads or pathway because of the passage of the Holy Family mm. at that time. Mm. From there comes Maadi because they passed yeah. by. Yeah. Is it the Maadi that became a district this, now? The, yeah, yeah, this is a church in Maadi. At this yes. church, there is the, the stairs which the, the Holy Family they took down to ride the boat in River Nile. Mike Cruz place. was there once, Rana, and, and we shot there. I wasn't there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So, uh, so, so the name Maadi itself came, came from the, the Holy Family's uh, trips. Yes, and also recently in 1976, there uh, was found a, a, a book, a Bible, floating uh, in front uh, of the church in the Nile River, mm. and it came to the church. And when they found it, which they church, sir? Same nice. church, the Maadi Church, church. Saint Mary Church. Mm. They found it that it is open on the part of the book of Isaiah 19, mentioned, "Blessed is my people, Egypt." Mm. Oh my God! 1976. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is recent, wow. and this uh, Bible is still there in the church of Maadi. Mm. Okay, sir, would you recommend the uh, uh, four places of the Holy Family's path to Egypt? Uh, oh, yes, of course, actually, uh, all the places uh, are worth to be visited. Uh, as we said, there are uh, many uh, prominent places uh, to be visited. The Muharraq Monastery, of course, uh, the one uh, which they uh, spend a lot of time. Uh, we have also um, Tal Basta in, uh, in the Aziz city. This is where the uh, idol is falling. Uh, we have also in, uh, in Samanud. Uh, mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, a bowl uh, where the Virgin Mary make bread in it. It's a gra made of granite. Wow. And there is also a wheel of water there. Mm -hmm. uh, also in Mostoro, there is a wheel of water where uh, Mother Mary uh, bust her, her baby, the holy baby, inside uh, the water mm -hmm. uh, of this place. Uh, we have the monasteries of Wadi Natrun, of course, mm -hmm. uh, the four monasteries. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also in Dronka, we have uh, in Asyut, uh, in their way uh, to return back to uh, um, Jerusalem and Bethlehem, they, they passed through uh, uh, the Mount of Asyut in Dronka and there is a cave there where uh, the Holy Family resided. Of course, also Old Cairo, we have uh, uh, Abu Sirga Church.
there is a mataraya uh, there is a tree there mm -hmm. uh, which um, was planted at the time of the holy family mm. all these uh, many beautiful places to be sure and, and uh, with reference uh, father Kirelos to um, uh, Virgin Mary's recurrent apparition in Egypt over the course of many years uh, how do you see this matter and how do you see this special bond um, uh, um, I guess between uh, uh, Virgin Mary and, and, and Egypt. Uh, actually, this is reflect uh, the love of uh, Virgin Mary to Egypt, because Egypt is the land of refugee for her, and the land where uh, uh, her holy child was saved from death. So, of course, uh, as a mother, she will really uh, appreciate uh, the sure the what happened and uh, was the receiving of of Egypt for her, uh, and also reflect also that. Uh, many churches are named after her in Egypt and many monasteries. Mm. This reflects the love of the Egyptians to Egypt, yeah. that they love her uh, so mm. much. And also the apparition of, of Virgin Mary, um, it proves nowadays, you know, there are waves of atheism and waves of different world views. Yes. So when the people see something by their own eyes, there is an apparition of a heavenly person coming on a church this means that there is something called heaven there is god there is heavenly creatures so this strengthens the faith in eternal life and strengthens the faith in god and also it gives a message of peace and tranquility to the hearts of the of the believers that you are not alone here that the heaven is looking at you and praying for you and this also a, a very good you know this is noticed in um, 1968 when yes. the famous apparition happened yes it was just direct after 1967 yes to give tranquility to the whole egyptians mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sir um when was uh, virgin mary's last uh, appearance in egypt and uh, what kind of message uh, do these um, uh, appearances uh, send to it the was 68 in, Zay in zaytun uh, this is the most famous one, yeah. 1968 in Zaytun. Mm. Uh, recently, there is also another one in Warra, uh, in the church al Adra al Warra. This is 2009. Mm. It appeared also on the domes of the church near the cross. She usually appears in this way, mm. usually appears in the top of the church in the domes mm. uh, near the cross. Mm. It appeared in the same way in uh, 2009. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it appeared before in Asyut in, two, uh, in 2000, mm -hmm. and also in, uh, in uh, San Damiana Church in 1986, mm -hmm. uh, she appeared there. Mm -hmm. uh, many apparitions, uh, this is, we can say, the official ones. But okay. of course there are uh, many non-official ones that may appear, she may appear to even to individuals, to persons. Yes. Um, how do you think, uh, uh, Father Kirelus, that... Um, um, we here in Egypt should uh, um, um, uh, benefit from the places the, the, that, that the Holy Family um, visited to help tourism, to help our economy. Uh, not only foreign tourism, but also domestic uh, tourism. I I'm sure a lot of um, uh, Egyptians, be it um, uh, Christians or Muslims, uh, would like to visit such uh, places. What do you think about trips to, for schools, maybe for universities? I don't know. You tell us. Of course, totally agree. This is, will be a very good uh, opportunity to enhance tourism, either international or domestic tourism, because you know um, the the pathway of the Holy Family was declared as a pilgrimage site by uh, the Vatican. Mm. The Vatican has some uh, some yeah. rules for this, so this is will help us a lot that it, we can promote this uh, uh, pathway of the Holy Family as a pilgrimage site to all Christians around the world and of course in Egypt for uh, all Egyptians, uh, Muslims and Christians because uh, Mother Mary belonged to all of us. Absolutely. And uh, you know that in, in Quran there is a specific yeah. surah for, for uh, Surah sure. Maryam sure. In, under her name and she is mentioned that she is most favored. More yes. than all women. Yes, she is in, in, in Islamic faith. She is the number one woman. Yes, that's favored it. above all women of, of the world. Yes, and we see ma many of our Muslim brothers. Uh, they have uh, friends. They, they have their uh, own children named after her sure. as, as Mary yeah. uh, or Maryam. Yes. 
So uh, what I want to say is that this pilgrimage site can be visited by all Egyptians. And yes, we can uh, teach this also in maybe in the um, history books of the, of the yeah. school. Yeah. Uh, why not to teach uh, the Coptic history in details and uh, yeah. teach this pathway to, to, the, mm. to the kids mm. from their childhood? The so social studies. Uh, social studies subject, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is, can be done. Yes. Sure. Okay, sir, uh, before we end um, the segment, sir, uh, Egyptians, of course, car carry very special feelings to Virgin Ma Ma Mary. Um, as we just, just mentioned, of course, and they have a deep belief in her, and this is something that is mutual between Muslims and Christians or Copts here in Egypt. Would you uh, tell us more about this, sir? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, as we said, that uh, uh, Virgin Mary is loved uh, from all Egyptians. Uh, actually, we see this uh, that, uh, for example, the fast of Virgin Mary. We see it's not only fasted by uh, Christian. We see some Muslim also fast this fast. Some Muslims visit also the churches of Mother Mary and light a candle, asking her prayers. So we see that uh, uh, Mother Mary is a unifying uh, figure in Egypt. It unifies all around her, Muslims and Egyptians. So this is also a very good spirit that we have uh, this sharing in, in, in belief uh, concerning Virgin Mary. Yes, uh, for, for sure. Um, the, the, uh, the, the common... Uh, um, that Virgin Mary is the, the number one uh, common um, uh, factor when it comes to faith uh, yes. uh, uh, between um, uh, Muslims and Christians, uh, aside, of course, from uh, uh, worshipping one uh, God. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Father Kirillus Haney. Thank you for hosting us uh, here uh, at the Coptic Cathedral in Abbasia. And very uh, happy uh, New Year and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you. you very much for uh, paying this visit to us and uh, doing this uh, program. Thank you. Sir, it's our utmost pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us in this segment at Night Cruise. Thank you very much for um, having us here. Of course, it's a uh, very um, different day. Uh, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Wishing you a Happy New Year. Wishing you a prosperous life. We hope next year uh, goes on without the coronavirus pandemic and life so goes back to normal hopefully, again. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, sir. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much. It's yeah. a pleasure. Dear viewers, you're still watching Nile uh, Cruise on Nile TV. And from the uh, uh, cathedral in Abbasaya, we bring you today's very special episode celebrating the Christmas here in Egypt. Don't go away. We'll be right back.